Hey guys, so today I'm filming a very exciting video for you guys and I'm gonna be filming a collective haul. I got some makeup, some workout clothes, some regular clothes, some skincare, kind of a variety of everything that I've collected over a couple of weeks and um, I picked up some makeup today that I'm really excited about. So if y'all wanna see this collective haul, then go ahead and keep watching. I will be trying on all the clothing items so you can see how they look on and yeah. If y'all want to see this haul, then go ahead and keep watching, guys. Don't know why I did that. I'm weird. Okay, guys, so we're going to start off with clothing items since I don't really have that much. I only bought a few, but we're going to start off with what I'm wearing. I got this olive green crop top, and I really, really liked it because it went with the pants that I also bought, which I will also be showing you. Um, I'm going to try them on for you guys so I don't have to stand up or whatever, but I'm wearing them right now. And I just really like this crop top because it's longer than other kind of crop tops to wear. Even if you wear them with high-waisted pants, they still like show too much of your stomach because I just, I don't like showing too much, you know what I'm saying? And I also like the fact that like it's, sleeve, it's sleeveless, but you could still like cover up your bra, like it's thick enough to cover up your bra. And I just really like the material of it too. It's kind of like a sweater material, but it's also not like really hot or anything. And I paired it with these new pants that I got from Hollister. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this crop top that I'm wearing is only, it was only $10.99 and I got it from the store Papaya. If you haven't heard of this, it's just a little boutique store that they have in some malls. I really like what they had in there. This was actually my first time going in there and I found two items. But yeah, this shirt was only $10.99 so it was not, um, it was very much affordable and it looks super cute too and it's really nice material and everything. And like I said, I paired it with these high-waisted pants. I just got a really dark denim wash and I picked these up from Hollister and I believe they were $50, um, rounded up to around $50. And I really like the way they fit. I got them in a size five. I have gained weight. I used to be a size three to be honest. Um, but yeah, I really like how high they come up on the waist because some high-waisted pants, they don't come up as high, at, like high enough to cover your stomach if you are wearing a crop top. But yeah, I just really like the way they fit and the way this outfit paired together. So I picked up those two items. Speaking of papaya, I picked up another blouse from them. And this one is in a size medium. Um, they didn't have a small, so I just picked up a size medium. The shirt that I'm wearing is a small though. And this one was $11.99. I actually haven't worn this, but I really, really like the detail and the like top area, blouse area. It has that corset thing going on. And I just really love the way it looked on. And like the crop top, it has that like sweater material, but it's not hot at all. It's just like the way it's printed on there reminds me of a sweater. I don't know. But yeah, I found these two things the first time I ever went in there. So I will be continuing shopping there because I think they have really cute stuff for a really good price. And yeah, it's just this nice cream white shade. And I mean, um, this is kind of in right now, this trend going on with the corset top, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a very trendy person, but you know, Olive, I really like, and this I really like, so maybe I am. I don't know, but yeah, I really picked, I like this top that I picked up, and I think it would go good with just some regular jeans, and yeah. Next up, we got another pair of jeans from Hollister. These were around the same price as the ones I'm wearing, around 50 bucks. But this time, these are not skinny jeans and they're not high rise. So they're normal, like waist size. They don't cover your stomach or anything. And they're kind of a different kind of bottom. I believe they're called, they're not boot, but they're like in the middle. I guess they're called straight leg. I'm not sure. But I got them in a, sh um, in a shade. I'm still talking makeup right now. In a size 5R, which is five regular. And the waist is a 27 and the length is a 32 if you're around my height or with Anyways, I just this is very actually difficult for me to pick jeans because I'm not used to this sizing So I had to try on a couple of pairs before I found the right ones But these fit really nice as well and they're a size 5 just like the ones I'm wearing and I just really wanted some basic like denim jeans that weren't high-waisted because I find myself buying a lot of high-waisted clothes because I don't like my stomach area like showing and I like crop tops you know what I'm saying but I really just wanted a basic pair of jeans that I could care that I could pair with regular t-shirts because sometimes 
if you wear high-waisted pants with t-shirts it kind of looks weird if your t-shirts over it and it's like bulking out if you know what I'm saying I don't know if I'm making sense but yeah so I got those the next place I went is H&M and I actually I um, picked up something that I wanted a while back that I ended up not getting and regretting every minute of it and it was a pair of sweats so I got these today and they were $21.64 so really affordable for sweats and I just really like the way these look on I love wearing these to work out or just to like if you want to run out of the house really quick to do a quick errand you can throw these on instead of like actually putting on a pair of jeans and everything so I just like using them for that and I really don't have any I just have one pair so I thought I would get another one and then they have the drawstrings at the top and it's just this really pretty dark gray wash really comfortable and I got them in a size small I wasn't really sure what to go with but I tried on the size small they're a little bit loose on me but they still fit so and they're comfy so everybody needs a pair of sweats and if you want to find some cheap affordable cute ones hit up H&M and last but not least for clothing items we went to Marshall's today to pick up some things and I found this sports bra and I thought it was really really cute because like I said I have gained a little bit of weight and I'm actually working on working out eating healthy right now if y'all want to know all about that just let me know like in a video or something but I picked up a new sports bra because my Nike one that I have is getting kind of tight on me and it's very uncomfortable to wear especially if you're working out so I thought I would just pick one up um this one is like I feel like it's the same size as that one even though that one's too tight on me but since it has the like neckline right here it's not as suffocating you know what I'm saying because the one I have now it's like this this one's more like this so it gives you some like air to breathe and less suffocation but um, I thought it was really cute I don't I'm not sure what brand it is um, and it was only $15 at Marshall's and so I thought that was a really good steal I tried it on in the store really like the fit and yeah I just thought it looked really cute on and I mean it's to work out in so you don't have to look too fabulous but I really liked it and yeah I picked that up now on to makeup I'm gonna go ahead and get Mac out of the way because I only picked up one thing and it's something that I've been wanting to buy but I always forget about it and it's a shadow and it's in the shade nylon and if you haven't heard about this you've been living under a rock just saying but it's just a very known shade from Mac and it's a really really pretty like frosted shade really pretty for the inner corner or the brow bone and I'm really getting tired of using Presco and Shimmer Shimmer all the time I wanted something different and less glittery so I thought I would go ahead and pick it up and actually went to the Mac store this time because usually I always go to the Dillard's one and I feel like I just have more fun at the store I don't know but this is what it looks like and I got it in it original pot because I actually don't have any room in my Z palette and I actually dropped this today and broke one of my shades and it was horrible so it just made me want to buy it in this and that is what the shade looks like I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell and let me go ahead and swatch it it's so buttery and beautiful it's just a really really pretty metallic frost shade without being glittery and I think it would just be perfect for the inner corner or under the brow bone so I picked that up it's just a holy grail to a lot of people especially Jaclyn Hill so I wanted to go ahead and pick that up and last but not least I hit it up my favorite place in the world which is Sephora and picked up some goodies um, so the first thing that I picked up from there was the um, Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. This has been going around YouTube for quite a bit nowadays. Um, when it first came out, I actually knew about this because I used to be like around Clinique a lot. And I never really heard anything about it, but I thought it was kind of cool, like the way it looked and stuff. But I just never thought to pick it up. But so many people have been bragging about it lately and raving about it. So I thought I would give it a try because I am kind of running low on my Estee Lauder and if you don't know already it's supposed to be a foundation for dry combination or oily skin so it fits both skin types which is kind of weird I have oily combo skin so hopefully it'll work for me and it comes in a glass bottle it's pretty big compared to like a normal foundation like it's pretty big 
and it's glass so be careful don't travel with it and yeah I'm really excited to try this out I'm not gonna open it because I think I might want to do a first impression on it if not a first impression definitely a review over it to see like the application process and stuff if y'all want that video just let me know in the comments down below or like this video so I can know to make it for you guys I feel like I have so much spit in my mouth sorry you guys but anyways I got it in the color linen VFN so hopefully this matches me because I didn't really pay attention to the shades before I went in like I just went in and basically picked one I didn't try it on or anything so hopefully it's a good match I just kind of pictured my Estee Lauder and picked this one up so hopefully it works like I said it's in the color one linen I think it was around like the lighter shade so hopefully it works but it's supposed to be <clears throat> It's supposed to be a really good foundation and I just heard that it's really good at covering and being like a concealer also so I just really wanted to give it a try so let me know if y'all want that video just like this video and just let me know okay guys but yeah I picked that up and I'm really excited about it and the packaging is so cute the next thing I picked up was from the same brand which is Clinique and I've actually been wanting this for a while and I've always like held myself back from buying it because it's so expensive it's like $35 and it's just makeup remover I mean like you could go to Walmart and buy like Neutrogena for $5 and remove your makeup but I've just heard so many good things about it and just makeup wipes aren't doing it for me anymore especially because I'm a lady so like I'm over there like wiping and when I wash my face I feel like makeup still comes off so therefore it's still on my face after I remove it so I thought I would give this a go it's a balm it's called Clinique take the day off cleansing balm and it looks kind of like coconut oil I heard that coconut oil is a dupe for it but I really want to try this one and coconut oil coconut oil kind of scares me like I, I feel like it would clog my pores and um Patrick Starr has um large pores or he says he has large pores and that this does not clog it he raves about this stuff so I just really wanted to give it a go and what you do is you just like put it on your dry skin and kind of rub until we all your makeup melts off so I'm really excited about it I'm gonna try it two nights whenever I'm done working out and stuff and see how it goes so yeah you um I'll let y'all know if I love it in a favorites video and if not I'll just let y'all know if I returned it or what so I got that last but not least I pick up um, I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color chocolate as y'all know I have the dip brow pomade right here in chocolate as well I love this stuff and I love how waterproof it is and how long it lasts but I just do not have the time every day especially if I wake up early I just brows are just not my like it's more about the face for me if I'm getting ready fast like it's all about the face I don't really care about the eyes the lips the brows it's just complexion for me so when it comes to brows I kind of just skip it and it looks kind of funky because if you have like a full face of makeup but then your brows are like empty it looks kind of weird so I went ahead and just picked this up because I know I love it and I know it's faster than that and I could definitely just draw in some hair so I don't look too crazy so I went ahead and picked that up and uh, if y'all haven't seen it before I'm pretty sure you have but it's just the brow wiz and it has a spoolie on one end and then it's a retractable pencil on the other and you just use it to fill in your brows so I went ahead and picked that up and I have my points accumulating because I never like use them because I never find anything in the like point perks that I want or that interests me so I always just save them up but this time there was something that interested me and it was the roller lash mascara from Benefit I've actually wanted to try this for a while now but I always just forget okay <laughs> but I always just forget about it and once I saw it there and that the brush was like the same concept the roller like brush it's supposed to look like a little um it's like a U and it rolls your mouth I'm not gonna open it now because I have mascara open but it's supposed to curl your lashes while you apply your mascara without having to actually use a curler so I really wanted to try that out so I picked it up in my 100 point perk I think it was 100 points I'm not sure they didn't really tell me but yeah pick that up and that is all I got from my collective haul it's not a lot at all that's why I kind of combined everything but hopefully y'all liked it if y'all like hauls 
then give it a big thumbs up and if you like more clothing hauls over makeup hauls let me know which one is your favorite down below in the comments and if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to Brittany Raquel which is me and be a part of my beauty family and until next time guys I love you so much